Hi, this is Alakunta Nobin, rule number 49. And my, to, my topic is about optimizing English language instruction through psycholinguistics. Introduction. Understanding psycholinguistics to enhance English language instruction Exploring the relationship between language and cognition. Language acquisition. The role of psycholinguistics in language acquisition and development. Understanding how the brain processes grammar and vocabulary. It means it involves in understanding how the psycholinguistics make the brain processes through grammar and a wide variety of vocabulary synonyms and it is used mainly how to enhance the language through psycholinguistics and it involves in language acquisition as well as development of the high range of vocabulary and grammar through psycholinguistics. Examining cognitive processes involved in language comprehension and production. How memory and attention impact language learning. This mainly focuses on the cognitive processes that are involved in these psycho languages to enable the persons and to know the person's comprehension and production abilities through memory and attention that the person is showing towards the language while learning the language. Applying psycholinguistics principles to optimize English language instruction strategies for enhancing listening, speaking, reading, and writing skills. These are the more, main four important skills. These are also known as LSRW skills which are very important for any person in order to acquire the English language properly. The person must be able to listen to the other persons, what is going, what is saying and whether the person is understanding or not by listening to the other people like native speakers, like um, suppose American native speakers, if the slang and the accent that the person, opposite person is speaking and if he receives that, if he catches that, then he, then he is good in listening. And speaking involves with using a wide range of grammar and vocabulary and the person should speak fluently without pauses. Reading in the sense, the person must be able to catch up the words really quick and he must note how, what are the pronunciations and some of the basic spellings and writing skills involves uh, the person's ability to write the essay or anything. Uh, it showcases the person's understanding of the question and his performing and his giving answer to the question is truly invincible. Bilingualism. The impact of bilingualism on psycholinguistic processes, exploring the benefits of multilingualism, multilingualism in language learning and cognitive development. This bilingualism involves with the, uh, sharing the conversation between two people either by phone calls or face-to-face uh, -face, this involves the bilingualism is the conversation happening between two persons either it may be in uh, phone calls or it may be in person to person and the, the multilingualism is the sharing the conversation or sharing the talk between two or more people is known as multilingualism like uh, group charts uh, and debates, these are all comes under the multilingualism.
understand in psycholinguistics in the context of language disorders such as aphasia and dyslexia strategies for supporting individuals with language difficulties this psycholinguistics involves in the disorders such as aphasia and dyslexia which uh, causes the persons way of thinking critically and analytically and it sometimes it causes to the damage and effects to the brain functioning so the person should be be careful in order to learn this psycholinguistics language and culture exploring the intersection of language and culture in psycholinguistics how cultural factors influence language processing and communication this involves uh, various people from all around the world that they share the conversation by con like uh, by sharing some of the cultural activities that are famous in their own countries and this is what the person if the person wants to know about uh, other things like uh, suppose if the person wants to know the different uh, aspect of the world then he can share with the he can talk with the other people to know the some of the things it's called the intersection of language and culture in psycholinguistics how cultural factors influence language processing and communication technology and language learning the role of technology in enhancing english language instruction through psycholinguistics utilizing digital tools for effective language likes learning mainly the ui and ux development is the main key thing here this involves rapid grow growth in the technology day by day it is using various digital tools and many types of tools that effectively communicate the language if a person wants to know about the learning the psycholinguistic psycholinguistic language then there are many types of tools and many types of uh, context available to learn the tools and in the in enhancing the psycholinguistics future directions emerging trends and future directions in psycholinguistics and english language instruction integrating research findings into innovative teaching methods this psycholinguistics is day by day grow, growing rapidly in the world and everything is indulged with the 6g technologies nowadays and each and every application is secured with the authentication processes and as well as as the technology is increasing the cyber attacks also increasing in order to avoid this there are a lot of security tools that are available to protect this and emerging trends and future directions in psycholinguistics and english language instructions integrating research findings into innovative teaching methods these are the future directions conclusion optimizing english language instruction through psycholinguistics enhances cognitive and linguistic development embracing the potential of psycholinguistic insights for effective language learning this involves optimizing the english language from native speakers and understanding the pronunciation and accents from them and it acquires the english language instructions through psycholinguistics that enhances both cognitive and linguistic development which the cognitive development involves in the analytical skills and as well as critical things and the linguistic development involves in the problem solving analytics and this embraces the potential of psycholinguistic insights for effective language learning and this is the conclusion for this english language psycholinguistics
that's all about my topic thank you